Today I'm going to be making some micarta and if you're looking for an expert video on making micarta this isn't it because it's my first time and I wanted to do it because I decided I wanted to make a certain pen out of micarta and I really couldn't find any options uh, that fit what I needed so I figured I'd try to make it if this works then I can get more creative in the materials that I use but to start with I'm going to use burlap because uh, the pictures I've seen of knife handles with burlap look really cool and I cut up an old t-shirt. So I've got two colors of burlap and a t-shirt. I'm gonna get started. Now the way I'm planning to do it is very simple. I'm gonna basically cast in this large HDPE mold, HDPE, <laughs> from uh, P-Town Subby. I'll put a link below if you're looking for a big block mold like this. And I'm gonna take my burlap and my shirt, which I guess is just cotton, and I'm gonna layer it into the mold. I already went ahead and cut these approximate size of the mold and so that way I can just kind of layer them easily as I go along. And then I've got another piece of HDPE that I'm going to put on the top, drop it on and clamp it down to put pressure on it and force out any air. So that's my plan. First thing I'm going to do is mix up some resin. For this project I'm going to use liquid diamonds. And one of the reasons is I love the way it turns. Another reason is I'll have a ton of working time and I won't have to worry about rushing through it because this seems like it'll take a while. So my plan, <clears throat> so my plan is to mix up resin into here. I'm going to mix it with a little black dye and then that way I can dip these in into this. I'm going to mix it into here uh, and then let it drip off before I put it in the mold. I think if I just put it in the mold and pushed it down, I don't know that it would soak up enough. It might. I'm gonna do it this way and see how it works. So to start, I'm gonna mix up two cups of liquid diamonds. These are like seven or eight ounces each. I think that'll get me started. I can always mix up more if I need to. And I'm gonna use black alumilite dye. Uh, not a ton, but just a little bit to tint it over. So that's one cup mixed or poured. I gotta stir this a lot, but I'll set that aside for the moment. And you can see the color. It looks dark in the cup, but it's actually not gonna be super dark. Should let the fibers show through. Okay. So this will probably not look like much in here, but we'll give it a try. <laughs> Full cup to hardly any in the thing here. Get my mold here. And again, I'm just gonna wet it basically. I don't think this is necessary at all. I figured this might drip off a lot, but it's hardly dripping. Like it's really staying full, so I think I could just layer them all in there, not mess with pouring the resin in there.
All right, I'm gonna demold this just to let you know if you're hearing a noise. There is a dog eating a elk blank over there. He looked like he got caught, but he, he always eats it. So to take this mold apart, this is a uh, Fred Weissen HDPE. It's super simple. The cool thing about these molds from Fred is he puts these little uh, like inserts into it. And so I've taken this thing apart a bunch of times and it still works, whereas my old ones that I made uh, are all stripped out. So good move, Fred. So that was easy. You can see my layers kind of. Hopefully that'll look cool when it's cut up and turned. Now I think the trick will be, oh, that won't be hard at all. It just fell right off. I thought that would be really stuck, but uh, it wasn't. Now this one might need a little tapping and I got this little mini wood hammer, but it doesn't really work. It does work. This thing weighs like an ounce. It came with a shelf to tap the shelves on. So there's my first micarta block. my micarta block here and I cut a square out and what I mean by square is the same height that it that it was thick uh, that way I had an even block but I went ahead and cut this on the bandsaw and the table saw just to compare and both cut it just fine but it was a slow cut I really had to take my time because this stuff is really really hard and again I use liquid diamonds for the resin and with all those layers it just makes a really really dense hard product but it's kind of a weird size, so rather than make a pen out of this, it's a little over an inch. Uh, I think I'm going to make a bottle, bottle, uh, bottle opener handle. So I've got a bottle opener here. I'm going to go ahead and drill and tap this, and then I'm going to go ahead and put on the lathe and spin it and see how it looks as a bottle opener.
So this came out pretty good. Um, I think, first time my car does, so who knows. But it looks cool, which was part of the goal. And you can really see the layers of the burlap, the different color burlaps, and the, the cotton cloth. So I think that was a success. Now, there are some little um, pits, which were air pockets. So I think it would be good to do what I did and then put it in the pressure pot and pressurize the whole thing. And that might give me a little more. At the end there, I just epoxied in the handle. I don't see any reason for this to be able to be removed. And I think over time you'd start messing up the threads if you took it out very much. So I went ahead and put epoxy in it. So this is now fixed, but uh, just a very simple straight handle. More or less, it was a test of the materials, but I think it looks pretty cool. So. Hope you like this video. If you know more about making micarta, please comment below. I'd love to hear what you guys have tried and pressure, no pressure, whatever your opinions are. Cause like I said, this was my first time and I think I'd like to do more. I'd like to do some pens out of this, but I think it will require a little more precision. So please give me a thumbs up for the video, subscribe to the channel and have a good day.